What's going on guys? It's your boy K Star back at it again with another review. Today we're just gonna do something totally random. This is something I forgot to open a while back. Basically, you might know me and my family, but I'm a bit of a, a Doctor Who nerd when it comes to it. I loved uh, Doctor Who when I was a kid, the ninth Doctor, Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, stole everyone's hearts, and then Matt Smith came in. Wasn't really a favorite at first, but then he became my favorite Doctor. But anyway, that sparked my love for the rest of the Doctor Who series, even the classics. And I did wet, go back and watch a few of the old, uh, I think his name was, was it William Hartner episodes, the first Doctor. And in one of the Peter Capaldi episodes, I actually saw Clara next to one of the original TARDIS consoles. And it just made me like, really like the old OG classic style look. So yeah, that's what we've got here today. So sorry about the babbling already, but we've basically got the Eagle Mouse collection. So Doctor Who, BBC, figurine, diecast Doctors. We've got the first Doctor's console. There's actually two variants of this. There's the white one, which I really wanted, but unfortunately it was only in America and it was like 50 bucks and I'm not paying 50 bucks. So I've got the mint green original version instead, which is a close second. So yeah, that's what we've got today. So without further ado, can you smash that like button, notifications, but all that boring stuff that you do not want to hear, blah, blah, blah. Sorry about the background noise. It's raining very heavily. So if you hear an omnibus tapping, it's the rain on the glass roof. So yep. Sorry, we've got our random item of the day and that is vapor rub. So you may be laughing right now, but it's winter. Everybody's getting colds, very annoying. So you put that on your chest or your nose or whatever you want to do and you can breathe better. So that's it for that one. And yeah, we'll get straight into it. So you've got it here, it's not much to look at. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get it out of the packet and start the review, so. So there we are guys, and this is what you get in the packet. So you get a nice diecast model of the TARDIS console. Absolutely awesome. You get a nice description there. BBC Doctor Who figurine, very lovely indeed. And on the back you get some facts about Doctor Who where it's made, and on the bottom you get an awesome little TARDIS art console, the first Doctor's TARDIS, and a picture of the famous William Hartnell, and it's absolutely awesome. And I really love that. I've recently played the Lego Dimensions game, and you can play as all the classic Doctors, and it's so awesome to fly the TARDIS as these Doctors. So yeah, so as I've said, front of the box, nothing much there. Side, nothing. Other side, nothing. There you go, BBC. Top, bottom, and then the nice art of William Hartnell and the TARDIS right there. So that is absolutely dope, and we can get this out right now. So here we are, guys, out the box, and this thing looks pretty damn awesome. So as you can see, it's the original TARDIS console, like in the picture there. We'll just quickly go through paint and detail because there's not much to talk about. So you have each of the six panels because obviously in the Doctor Who lore, the TARDIS is controlled by six people if you want to fly it properly. That's why it's always rickety when the Doctor does it because he has to fly it alone. So he has one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I think these look absolutely outstanding. They've done a really nice job, really nice job indeed. You have the, the glass, I can't even remember what this is called, but let's just call it the pillar or the emitter. So that obviously moves up and down and flies. And then that's it really, It's not. there's not much to it, but it's just a really nice piece. If you like Doctor Who and you like the classics, then this is really nice to have. It's not very big, so it's only like, stands about maybe three, four inches tall, probably about three inches. It's not, it's really not big. It's just nice to have in your display. You could do a little diorama or something if you're artistic, I guess. You could even put it here if you wanted with the box. If you wanted to put some like circular things there or do like a TARDIS door and you have that and that looks really epic very very epic indeed so you could sort of have the doctor walking out to the TARDIS or looking out to the universe and you can just do some nice things sometimes it's nice not to have something crazy in your collection but just something small that looks really nice and it's a nice die cast material very simple very futuristic very reminiscent of the original 
Doctor Who series. You also get a nice little art book with it. So you get Doctor Who BBC figurine collection, the original TARDIS. As I said, it would be nice if it was uh, the white one, but nonetheless, it's still nice. There's the white one. There's a photo of the white one there. That's what it used to look like in the old black and white. You get some information about the TARDIS. You get all the controls, so I didn't realize this, but you get like, it actually explains what all the things do. So as you can see there, heart readings, system function readings, radiation meter, scanner controls, scanning light, dematerialization controller, presets, fast switch return, emergency unit sockets, dematerialization again William Hartnell there in the corner looking absolutely awesome you just get it's just a nice little piece to have and there you go that's what the original TARDIS console rule and I don't know why but that always gives me chills that does that's absolutely epic just that room and you could really do that with this little if you wanted to be artistic and do those little things there with a light you could do a really nice diorama piece with this absolutely epic really like that so yeah, that's, that's it really. It's like 19 bucks. You get a nice uh, comic of the console. You get a nice figure piece. And that's it, well, there's not much else to it. There's only one gripe I see with mine, unfortunately. I hate to say this, but this would have got probably a, an 8.5 or a nine, but this comes out obviously, but for whatever reason, I don't know if this is just mine, but my, centerpiece is actually broken so i don't think this is supposed to come out it looks like it's broken off by mistake which is very sad to be honest because it's a really nice piece very delicate but you can see the holes where it's broken but you could also see the positive of that in the original this piece used to go up and down when the tardis was in motion so if you could engineer some kind of mechanism in there you can actually have that movie accurate so perhaps sometimes a defect isn't always a bad thing so at first i was a bit toxic about it but when i thought about it that actually does move up and down and you can't really tell once it's all set up so yep very nice piece i'm gonna give it about an eight out of ten just because of that little defect but it worked out in the end oh and one last thing to show you the the size of it because obviously my hands are here it's quite a small piece i haven't really got a figure that that kind of goes with it so i've actually got a david tennant funko pop so we'll quickly unbox this right now so you've just got david tennant here front of the box top of the box side of the box back of the box with all the old funko pups you could actually get peter capaldi matt smith tennant Tom Baker, Dalek, Cyberman, whatever that thing is, the Weeping Angels and the TARDIS, which I have got, that awesome Funko Pop, one of my favourites. So, if you just bear with me one second, guys. And here he is. So, there's Tenant looking really good in Funko Pop form, I can't lie to you. We haven't done a Funko Pop in ages, but I haven't even unboxed this. This is how old this is. I got it ages ago, I don't even know if you can get him now. But look at his nice blue suit and his brown coat absolutely awesome as the music comes in his david tennant martha jones theme that is perfect his sand shoes always matt smith says you're wearing sand shoes and his nice hair very stylish and the best part in my opinion his sonic screwdriver so a very good funko pop there and if they ever did a a, a nine console or a ten console you could have this looking really good because even though he's a bit short he does scale really nicely, I think, right there. So, you could have the TARDIS console there. And Tenant, maybe his TARDIS has gone AWOL. And he's just, uh, it's broken. And it's gone back to the old old one or something. So yeah, just little th fun things you can do with this. And that is pretty much all she wrote, guys. So, I don't want to babble on anymore, because this has gone on for 13 minutes, which it really shouldn't have done. But, nonetheless... Two awesome pieces. The Tenant Funko Pop. To be fair, I have to give this a 9 out of 10. I can't even see a blemish. you got his little tie. 
his suit, his sand shoes, and he looks just like him, even though he hasn't got a mouth. He does really look like him. So that's absolutely epic. I love it. And the TARDIS console, because it was broken, it should have got really a seven, but I'll give it an eight because it looks really nostalgic and awesome. And you can get that to move. So yeah, two very lovely pieces, guys. So as always, Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for your time. Thank you to all the new subscribers. We've got loads. Absolutely awesome, man. You've, you've literally... We've gone from like 100 subs to like 109, and that never happens. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate you. Awesome that you come down to watch these things. Sorry we're not dropping as much recently. We're waiting for packages and delays, COVID, blah, blah, blah. All that rubbish stuff that I don't want to hear. So, yeah. That's all she wrote, really, guys. So, but thank you very much for your continued support, and I really appreciate you. And yeah, just keep yourselves safe. Take the occasional paracetamol if you're feeling rough, or use the the vapor rub for your nose if you've got a cold. And yeah, just try and be good people. Enjoy Christmas. It's the month of December. We all love Christmas. The doctor loves Christmas. And yeah, just. Keep yourselves safe, collect cool things to keep your mind occupied. And as always, the 10th Doctor says, stay safe and keep collecting. <laughs>